Sanki Group is the manufacturer of two GPU brands, Maxan and Soyu. It has recently filed an ECC listing that includes many NVIDIA GPU models. Among the models listed are the not yet announced RTX 4050 and the non ti RTX 4060, although NVIDIA hasn't confirmed anything yet. This is a fairly believable indication that these budget GPU bundles will be available soon. Once both GPUs are available, the RT4000 series will be nearly complete, perhaps until the arrival of the RT4090 Ti. By NVIDIA standards, the appearance of both budget GPUs is very quick. It took about two years for NVIDIA to release the entire RTX 3000 product stack from the 8GB RTX 3050 all the way to the RTX 3090 Ti. ECC listings are required to release the products, including GPU models, for future sales. Even so, this doesn't guarantee that the applicant will sell on the products list. So, we should still take this news with a grain of salt. It is still not known how the RTX 4050 and RTX 4060 might perform, but they should be at least comparable to RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti, respectively. Even so, specs of the RTX 4070 looks rather disappointing, as it has similar CUDA core count to the RTX 3070, while bus width is reduced to 192 bit from 256 bit. The RTX 4060 Ti is even more disappointing, with less CUDA cores compared to the 3060Ti and 128-bit bus width. However, these newer GPUs could offer an overall faster performance, with higher core memory clocks. Moreover, the RTX 4060Ti is likely to be quite efficient, with 160W TDP. This means it shouldn't be too surprising if the RTX 4050 and the non ti RTX 4060 will have similar or fewer CUDA cores compared to their direct predecessors. Also, if Nvidia manages to keep the power consumption of the RTX 4050 under 100W, it will be decent GPU for budget desktop PCs. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.